This is tutorial number three, and it covers how to customize your Katia V5. Now what we're going to be doing in this tutorial is I'm going to show you how to uh, play around with a few customizing options. So to start off, let's click Tools, click Options, and let's click Display and Visualization. Now the options that I'm going to go through are just the visualization kind of options. So just changing the colors that you're going to be seeing throughout the tutorial. Now, the settings that Katia V5 has right now, I'm going to keep them for the rest of the tutorial, but you're more than welcome to change them yourself. So, if you want to change the background color, all you have to do is click the drop down and choose another color. So, say you want black, click black, it shows you a preview here, and let's see what it looks like in the whole workbench. Let's click OK, and now you have the black background. Now, let's go back again, let's click Tools, click Options. And let's see what the white background looks like. And now we have a white background. Now let's go back to the blue background that we had. So let's click Tools, Options. Let's put it back to the blue. And if you notice, there's kind of a fade going from the top to the bottom. You can get rid of that by clicking the uh, graduated color background. Now you'll have just a solid color. Let's click OK. And now we have just a solid blue. Now I'm going to put that graduated color back on, so let's click Tools, Options, put that graduated color back. Now you're also able to change the edges and selected items, it's all up to you. So this one's red right now, let's put it to blue, and let's put this one from orange to blue. But that's not what I want, I'm just showing you how to play around with the elements here. So I'm going to put it back to what they were, orange and red. So you're able to just go around and change on any of these colors to whatever it is that you want. So whatever your background is, you're probably going to change all of these colors in accordance to that so you can see the background colors very well. So that's just a way to change all the visualization behind. So let's click OK. Now another option I'm going to show you is if you pull out all these toolbars and say you delete them all and you don't know how to get them back. Now if you right click on the toolbar here, you're able to go through the different toolbars on the side that you should be seeing, click them, and slowly bring them in one by one. But I'll show you an easier way to always get back to that. So go to the bottom and click Customize, click Toolbars, click Restore All Contents, and then Restore Position. And then you'll always come back to what you had at the beginning. Now, this is a great tool because as you're going through and as you're using the different toolbars and features, there will be a time that you're going to uh, delete one of the toolbars and you're not going to be able to get it back. It's happened to me many times. It's very hard to get it back, so this is a quick way just to restore all the previous settings and get all your toolbars back. Now, you're also able to change uh, your toolbars and what you see through here. I'm not going to touch any of it, I like how everything is right now, but you're more than welcome to change it to your own preferences. But this, restoring all your contents and positions, is a must to know because sooner or later you are going to delete one of those toolbars and lose it. And this concludes our tutorial on how to customize your Katia V5 environment.